Hi, I'm Dr. Lin, and welcome to Dr. Lin's Functional Health and Fitness. Because without function, what good is form? Check out my website at drlin.com. Sign up for my free monthly newsletter. And while you're there, check out my natural health products, Dr. Lin's Nectars, natural herbal nectars to keep you healthy, happy, and even help you to manage your weight. You'll also find my anti-aging workout DVDs, as well as my new book and CD, Karma, How to Change What You Do So You Get What You Want. And don't forget to check out products that Dr. Lynn loves. Today we're going to focus on cognitive functioning because your cognitive health is as important as your physical health when it comes to quality of life. There was a study done, a research study, involving people over 60. They divided the group in two, and half of the group participated in dance, the other didn't. And what they found was the hippocampus in the group that danced increased in mass more than the group that didn't. So what does that have to do with cognitive functioning? Well, your hippocampus is responsible for your memory and for your focus. Nutrition is also important when it comes to cognitive functioning. Did you know that your um, brain uses about 400 calories a day of the nutrients that you take in? So it's important that those are nutrients that support its health. One nutrient that's important is phytoestrogens, and those are found in plants. Phytoestrogens help the brain to work, function properly, and supports memory and focus. A food that has phytoestrogens is white cabbage. So if you have a choice between the chips or the coleslaw, my tip, choose the coleslaw. Now let me show you a couple of yoga poses and dance moves that will help you to improve your cognitive functioning. We're gonna begin by bending forward into what's called an umbrella. All the way down, when you bend forward, you allow fresh blood to flow to your brain, and it supports your brain health. So back up, and take a deep breath, and step right into your center. Arms behind your head, this is called a three lock lift. It challenges the brain to focus. Breathe deep as you hold, and look straight ahead. Palms are up, shoulders back, lift your chin, hold tall, and look straight ahead. Deep long breaths, chest is open, you're sending all kinds of oxygen all the way up to support your brain. Step in, let's do it to the other side. Step back, down into the hips, pull back, and hold, look straight ahead, deep long breaths. And in, back to the center. Deep long breath. All right, let's start marching. We're gonna do a little dancing, because dancing is very good for cognition. Reach up over your head, and all the way down. And side to side, challenging the brain, up and over, coordination, reach, this is called Diva. Here we go. One, two, three, four with the hips. And back. And to the other side. And march. Step side to side. Let it flow and let it move. Challenge the brain by moving side to side, up overhead, in and down, out, in, down, up, out, in, down, reach, movement, into the center, palms are out, reach, reach, roll, roll, reach, reach, Challenge the brain by moving side to side. Good job. Roll, roll. And then step in, step forward. A little wiggle with the hips. One, two, 
There you go, side to side. Now sweep, 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 and move the hips. Sweep, sweep. There we go, other side. And reach, reach, roll again. And we just repeat side to side. Movement challenges the brain. Step and back. Step and back. Now sweep, sweep, sweep. Shake your hips again. Shake the other side. I'm going to add another little challenge here. Sweeping side to side. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and sweep, 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 and eight. All right, march it out a little bit. We're going to start to cool it down, and we're moving back down to the mat to finish up with some yoga. Deep breath and relax. Fold down to the mat, straight down, knees and hands. Down dog, heels down, hips up. Down dog is a full complete stretch. Dropping the head down but close to the heart allows fresh blood to flow to your brain. Lifting up, we're coming through and folding down. This is called a sleeping swan. Drop your head down, straight line, all the way down through your toes and breathe. Now waking swan, come on up, straighten your arms, look straight ahead. We're gonna send a charge of energy down to the base of the spine and back up. Tilt your head back, up, look up, straight up. Pushing energy to the base of the spine and then down and all the way back up. And step back into down dog. Breathe. Take it to the other side, fold through again, fold down, close your eyes, breathe deep. Arms to your side, push up, alignment, chin looking straight ahead. Now look all the way up, lean. Let that energy go all the way to the base of the spine. And then release, it comes all the way up. And we're gonna step back and come down and stretch it out into a child's pose. Roll up onto the tip of your fingers and press them into the mat. Then 
release down and bring your arms back to your side as we move to an embryo. We're going to send the energy all the way up to the third eye, right between your eyebrows. As we breathe, you're going to draw from the base of your spine all the way up, lift, and breathe. shoulders, relax, fold into the embryo, and let go. Let's roll over onto our back. These are bent, palms are at your side, and we're going to lift up into a bridge Reach over your head, stretch. And then down, legs out. Roll your arms back, and when they touch the mat, relax and let go. We're gonna move into a meditation. What is it that we all want the most? Control over our lives. We want to control the outcome of things, and yet much of life is uncontrollable. Sometimes we just need to accept things. We need to detach and let go. However, what we do have control over is our cognitive functioning, our attitudes, perceptions, and feelings. You can make them into anything you want them to be. Relax for a moment and refresh your brain. Clear the mind and give the soul a moment of peace. Let's come up to a sitting position. Keep your mind and your brain functionally fit, and remember clarity is needed so the mind can discern which path to walk. Integrity and trusting yourself is the ability to walk it. Namaste. May you go with health, happiness, and peace. Hi, thanks for spending the time with me doing Dr. Lynn's Functional Fitness. Make sure you visit my website at drlynn.com, sign up for my free monthly newsletter, and check out my natural health products. And until then, see you next time.